Here's Williams getting an opening. Damian Williams for first down. Has one man to beat into Buccaneer territory. Changes direction. He's going to be TJ Ward. But finally, it's Levante David downfield who catches up with him. See this. Watch them work up to the second level. See David right there? Gets him pinned inside. That is that is a Jesse Davis, University of Idaho, man, a vandal. Love that, right? My alma mater gets up to the second level, creates that big running lane for Williams. And here's Williams. And it's third down and seventh from the nine. He's got time, and this pass is going to be intercepted by Justin Evans. Evans bringing it out of the end zone is tackled. So the Miami Dolphins knocking on the door, lose that opportunity. Back does a fine job of undercutting that route. You're just inside, the feet get tangled. Evans with his big run and play action at the goal line. And this pass, a one-handed catch by Jarvis Landry. And a first down out to the 21-yard line. A gain of 12 with a quick catch and another flag goes down. After the play. And this is something they've wanted to work on. Here you see the fake handoff. Get the quarterback outside the pocket with a little bit of an option right there in the flat to the tight end, the crossing route to Jarvis Landry. And look at that one-hand stab. He just makes it look so easy. First and goal at the two. Landry saw that Cutler needed a receiver and got out to get the ball. And this one into the end zone. And it'll be a touchdown to Jarvis Landry. And let's see what Landry had in mind for a little TD demonstration. Three wide receivers. And Cutler has it intercepted. It is picked off by Quan Alexander, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. And a flag is down. So Alexander with a second interception pending the call. Miami, excuse me, Miami number 62. This penalty will be assessed half the distance of the goal, first down. And these are the things as a quarterback, you slide out, you move outside, don't throw it up across your body in the middle of the football field, especially when you have the speed. That took the Dolphins out of the game. And here's a rollout by Fitzpatrick, looking into the end zone, and the pass is caught by O.J. Howard for the touchdown. Cutler, and it's intercepted off the hands of Devontae Parker, and Robert McLean has the interception. So the alert Tampa Bay defense. Your quarterback is struggling. You're running the comeback right here. Parker right there in the hands. When your quarterback's struggling, you've got to take the pressure off him. You've got to be able to make a play. Second and 18, you've got the protection. You step up in the pocket. You deliver a strike right there on the hands of your receiver. Damian Williams is the running back, and they get a wide receiver screen to Landry. Landry breaks a tackle. A flag is down. And if it was Ryan Smith, loose ball, and a flag was down. Smith recovered what looked like a fumble. And they just throw a little bubble screen right out here to Landry. You see him catch the ball. Now get yourself upfield. Tuck that ball away. Oh, right there on Smith. Just on the ball. Punches it out. Pulls it away. Gathers the football. Tampa Bay ball going the other way. And this is the opportunity right here. If you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you're the coaching staff, guys. The four after Kiko Alonso with the personal foul. And here is Fitzpatrick in the end zone, wide open, touchdown to Sean Jackson. Two timeouts left for Miami. Cutler trying to get out of trouble and will be tackled after picking up about a yard and a half. Remember, he's got those cracked ribs. These speedy linebackers give him an opportunity. Miami is yet to convert a third down. They need 10 yards, and they're going to get it. Jarvis Landry with a stiff arm and a lot more yards. Gets inside the 20-yard line. Justin Evans finally brings him down. 49 yards for Miami as they convert their first third down play of the game. At a base. Third and 14. Stepping up is Moore on the run. 
And it's caught by Stills. And great play made by Moore, and Kenny Stills got free and got to the 37-yard line of Tampa Bay. Uh, as he gets in here, now watch him climb this pocket. He's going to climb up there, buy himself some time, spots the receiver come open on the outside as they run a little crossing route, a little scissors route on the outside between the inside and the outside receiver. Third down and 10. Keep the pressure away from Moore going downfield, and it's going to be caught by Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills, touchdown! Perfectly executed ball by Moore over the top. Sells the over, stumbles the defensive back, gets him to cross his feet, goes to the corner, and then perfectly thrown. You couldn't run down there and drop it in the breadbasket any better than that by Matt Moore. And that's the confidence we talked about. Another third down conversion by this Miami team. Matt Moore has done that for them in this second half. Some big third down conversions. And look at the guy, man. Yeah, baby. Flush out of the pocket, and Fitzpatrick fires it, and it is caught by Chris Godwin, who had a big game last week against the Jets. Seven seconds remaining in the game. Patrick Murray's kick, and it is good, and the Buccaneers have taken the lead. They were up 20-7 to at the half, only to see the Dolphins fight back to tie it up along with Jakeem Grant and they put it on the roll and the clock stops starts on the touch here is Landry last gasp for the Dolphins on their own five yard line and let's see who recovers it it's Adarius Glanton and does he get a touchdown out of it it is a touchdown Looking to add the 30th point, and that will be the final score, 30-20. to 20, The Buccaneers the the beat the Dolphins.